Hey, welcome to The Child's View. I'm Bernadette Towns, and these are my colleagues, Becky Roth and Sharon Brown. And today we're going to talk about the power of touch. Uh, a lot of the information that I will share with you today comes from this book called Essential Touch by uh, Francis Carlson. And uh, it's just so important. And when we talk about touch, we're talking about from infancy all the way through adulthood. We all need uh, positive touches. And one, there's three things I want you to know before we start our conversation. Um, touch releases the growth hormone, which means that for young children, they physically grow when they are touched. Um, it also releases oxytocin in the body, which releases and lowers stress. So um, when you're stroking gently a an adult even, that is going to release stress. Um, and then it also conveys a message that words cannot, right? Mm -hmm. So I bet you've experienced this in your um, places uh, if you want to share. Work. Work. Yeah. Work and home. I use positive touch all the time, um, which I think a lot of people do um, naturally. I think, you know, our grandmothers rubbed our backs and our mothers maybe massaged uh. our heads when we went to sleep. Um, so yeah, positive touch is the key. And then there's also um, formal massage, which is really good that parents can learn to do. But um, the skin is the largest organ of the body. So um, we definitely need to nourish it and take care of it. And um, touch has a host. I mean, tons of benefits beyond just feels good. Exactly, yeah. but if, if somebody doesn't understand what touch does to the person they're touching, mm -hmm. if they will pet a dog or if they pet a cat, uh -huh. that touch for them, mm -hmm. not the animal, but for them themselves, right. they, can, they, can, they can, it lowers their heart rate, it lowers their blood pressure, it um, relaxes them, and then again, releases those hormones. And so maybe they can put that into perspective of what another human would need with those right. soft, gentle, right. positive touches. Yeah, right. one time I had a student and her baby was born premature. And so, as you know, the baby can't leave the hospital till it's at least six pounds, and it was about three pounds. And she had written me and she told me about um, all the tubes that the baby had, and I said, I don't care about those tubes. I want you to go and I want you to put that baby skin to skin because that's going to help that baby grow and gain weight. Mm -hmm. And so she said, okay. So she sent me a picture, which I actually Aww. use in my class. And it's her holding the baby with all the wires around mm -hmm. and the baby's on her skin. That baby began to grow mm -hmm. and that baby went home and it, it's probably like 12 by now. <laughs> that was a long time long ago. Time ago. <laughs> but, but you know, touch it. is just so right. powerful. We can't underestimate. Right. And you know, those positive touches, not just big hugs, which I know in school mm -hmm. now, you know, they're saying, you know, they want, they want people to kind of be a little bit more careful, but you know, just gentle strokes. Uh, well, I had a little, a little boy many years ago. Um, and, and he got anxious a lot in, in at school a lot. Um, just didn't matter what, what it was, he was anxious about it. But if you stood by him and, and okay, I'm an older lady, so I have this, you know, he would get right here, <laughs> the little bitty skin on your elbow, and he would just do this. And, and that touch, I wasn't touching him, right. but he was touching, touching me <clears throat> and, and doing this. And he also would do it right here between your thumb and your forehead. But it, it brought him down mm. from his anxious level. So even not only being touched, but being able to touch yeah. is also that healthy. Right. 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 Well, you think about cultures where mothers carry their babies on their chest, yes. on their backs, right? And how development is actually, I wouldn't say sped up, but more supported. You more know, supported. They tend to walk earlier, mm -hmm. they tend to be healthier. Yeah. Absolutely. And I was going to say, when you were talking about the mother that you shared, that babies leave on an average of six days earlier from a hospital if the hospital will engage in touch. Yes. Encourage the mother to do positive nice. touch. If she can't, so if, because I was surprised, many times they won't let you take the baby out, mm -hmm. but you can right. do what they call non-physical touch, mm -hmm. where you actually move your hand over their body oh. and they feel the electricity and the heat. Nice. That will help, or even just a, um, like a containment hold. You know how we hold babies at mm -hmm. their back or their bottom or whatever, right. just that warmth and that containment hold is supposed to um, feel similar to the womb. So it's protective. Ah, so yeah. Yeah. nice. So they can do that as well. Now I do, you know, talk to my students and warn my students about how um, 
if you adopt a child that maybe was a drug baby that maybe had drugs in the system maybe touch is too much for them mm -hmm. right 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 so the right. swaddling <clears throat> then and yep. holding them close yep. that way but skin to skin sometimes is not the best right for children in those situations exactly. right or <clears throat> they have been hurt Mm -hmm. sexually abused you need to really check with doctors and make sure you know the story of this child because you can do more damage yes. um, and when we do I don't want to say formal massage it's positive touch mm -hmm. but the massage cycles that you can learn about online they start at the feet and that's uh -huh. because they're the furthest from the chest and the head which babies are typically protective mm -hmm. of so it's less stressful to start there uh -huh. but yeah the benefits are amazing yes amazing. they support every system of the body you will um, excrete more you you will, you know, your circulatory system is better, your, um, I mean, every system. The, and it triggers the brain. It sends right. the brain a message that says, hey, you know, we're being stimulated, the, the skin's being stimulated, we need to work well, look, we're working so well, and everything works better. And I can attest to that as an adult who's been through massage oh, training. Oh, yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. Um, you, at first, you'll think that your body is doing something wrong, and then I realized it was actually working right. So um, I went to my massage instructor and said, I things are really happening strangely. And she said, no, Becky, it's because your body's now working right. Uh, it's getting rid of all those toxins and it's working right. the way it's supposed to work. Nice. So yeah, so for children, it's, yeah. it's, 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 it's as important as food and water. Yeah. Touch is, mm -hmm. and actually on Maslow's hierarchy of needs, um, right. and we can talk about Maslow another time, but um, they've actually included touch in the first level. Yeah. Of physiological mm -hmm. basic needs. Right. Oh, yeah. definitely. It is it just helps all around. Um, in the book here it talks about how it helps with attachment mm -hmm. and forming strong bonds, mm -hmm. social emotional development. So besides the physical growth, there's also social emotional right. um, connections that are made that are so important to building trust because this is how we build trust. And so for new moms, I always say skin to skin. Right. As much as possible. And for dads, too. I'm sorry. Oh, yes. No, dad I agree. Has to be in there. Dad has to be in yeah. there as well. Yeah. So in that in that birthing room, when mommy puts skin to skin, because the, they're really good at that. Yeah. You know, they're really good at encouraging that. But dad needs to yeah. do that yes. as well. Right. I agree. As well. yeah. Include dad. I agree. Absolutely. Yeah. And then if you're working in a center, you really do need to hold those babies. Mm -hmm. And I always tell students, mm -hmm. if you're working in a center where they don't let you hold the little ones, that's not a great place. Right. And you're actually aiding and abetting, creating some um, dysfunction in an infant mm -hmm. if right. you are not holding that baby because well, you're taking care of them for eight hours sometimes. Exactly. And that's a vital, that's a vital yeah. time in their development. Yes. They must... They must, if you're a, you know, an Eric Erickson believer, yeah. um, they must uh, get through that conflict of trust versus mistrust. Yes. They have to resolve yes. that. And if you're not giving them touch, if you're not holding them, if you're not um, allowing them to uh, feel secure and to feel mm -hmm. safe, yeah. right, then you're inhibiting their development from that right. point Oh well, and when you're looking at a baby in the face and you're touching and you're talking, I mean, it's all about not only building attachment, but communication and yes. reading cues. And you're learning to read theirs and getting better, mm -hmm. but they're also reading yours. Right. So it's about communication. Yes. Um, exactly. I started when the kids were really little. Um, Amy, I think, was my daughter, was eight months old. But um, she was ill a lot. She had ear infections. Oh. And my doctor said, you know, I know you believe in massage. He said, stop everything. Stop medication. Stop. I mean, listen to your doctor. And I was talking mm -hmm. with my doctor. But we did. We did. And they have not been on medication since. And now they're 22, 24, and 26. Awesome. But I started massage. We pushed fluids. And I could tell when my kids were getting sick before they got sick. Because wow. if you're doing like face or head and neck, I could <clears throat> feel the infection. Okay. And my doctor showed me what I was feeling, and right. it was amazing. So it also gives you this wow. sense of kind of power or um, maybe knowledge about your children yeah. that you won't have unless you're touching. Right. Unless you're, yeah, giving unless them, you're that giving positive them touch. Those, mm -hmm. those things. So don't be afraid to pick up your baby. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid to uh, hold your baby. You won't spoil an infant by <laughs> holding it. You are actually helping it grow. Mm -hmm. You're actually helping it to, to adjust to this life, this world that they've just come into. So um, don't be afraid to touch your children. If you have 
junior high or high school children touch them hug them you know they're probably like only let you do it when their friends aren't around mm -hmm. but you should still continue <laughs> to touch them and um, love on them that way because it's so powerful even through adulthood uh, thank you for joining us today on the child's view and we'll see you next time